హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ సమ్ మోర్ జావా ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్ బేస్డ్ ఎంసిక్యూ క్వశ్చన్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అవర్ పార్ట్ టూ వీడియో సో ఆల్రెడీ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ సమ్ ఎంసిక్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ పార్ట్ టూ అండ్ వీడియో so if you haven't watched that video the link is available in the description you can watch it so now let's continue this video you can look at the very first mcq question in our part 1 video itself we have discussed by default this class is extending object class by default each and every class is the child of object class so that's why i can use super keyword yes i'm trying to call my super class nothing but object class default constructor so this one already we have discussed in our uh, part 1 video itself but you can look at the super of keyword where i'm using the super of keyword i am not using the super of keyword inside a constructor i am using the super of keyword inside a method so in our part 1 video itself we have discussed about this particular point super keyword or this keyword i mean constructor calling by using super of or this of i can call the constructor the constructor calling must be happen inside a constructor and it must be the first line yes now it is the first line but at the same time it is not inside a constructor it is inside a method so which is not possible so that's why we are saw this particular line and especially i have written this line inside a method so that's why it will throw the compile time error so hope friends we are clear about this first mcq question i mean inheritance based we'll move the next question you can look at the next question so this is also same question which we have discussed in our part 1 video you can look at let us uh, check the flow bias of my object creation subclass object creation with integer argument it is going to call my subclass constructor with integer argument but before that it has to execute my superclass constructor since i am not using super of keyword in my subclass constructor i am giving a chance to jvm yes i am not using a super of keyword which mean i am giving a chance to jvm so now the jvm is going to invoke my super class constructor so already in our part 1 video itself we have discussed always jvm can invoke only the default constructor from super class so finally jvm is going to call the super class default constructor but it is private so which mean it will not visible to the outside so which mean it will not visible to the jvm so finally because of this private default constructor jvm will throw the compile time error saying that super class constructor is not visible so that's why it will give the compile time error and here one more point uh, i like to discuss so we know that if i want to stop a inheritance i have a direct way is final keyword if i make any class as final then the class cannot have a inheritance or a subclass so we can stop the inheritance with the help of final keyword in java so that is a direct way and this is one more indirect way to stop the inheritance with the help of private constructor bias as per the java the subclass 
object creation because of subclass object creation it has to initialize superclass property as well as subclass property which means the subclass constructor must be visible then only i can initialize or i can call my superclass property otherwise i cannot initialize so which means i cannot have a inheritance so finally coming to java we have two way to stop the inheritance one is direct approach with the help of final keyboard and the second approach is if i made superclass constructor as private then it will not visible to the subclass so which mean inheritance is not possible so finally coming to this question yes we as a private constructor it will not visible to the subclass so it will throw the compile time error so hope friends we are clear about this second mcq question also we have discussed one more important point what are the ways to stop inheritance in java one is by using final class i can stop inheritance second one is if i made superclass constructor as private then it will not visible to the subclass which mean inheritance is not possible okay friends so we'll move the next question yeah this question uh, uh, we have discussed in our part 1 video itself super of and this of nothing but constructor calling both the super of is going to call super class constructor this of is going to call current class constructor so this constructor calling must be happen inside a constructor yes it is happening inside a constructor and the second rule is both must be the first line super of or this of both must be the first line yes constructor calling must be happen <coughs> inside a constructor and it must be a first line so the second rule is it must be the first line so which means super of or this of both must be the first line so which mean inside a single constructor i cannot use super of this of together either i can use super of or this of inside a single constructor but not both together yes both must be the first line so finally bias of this line it will give the compile time error saying that it cannot be the or it must be the first line so hope friends we are clear about the rules of super of and this of keyword so now we'll move the next question yeah this question is uh, related to overriding so we know what is overriding super class and sub class can have a method with same name same return type same argument everything must be same the entire signature must be same then i can say it's a overriding so finally you can see here my method is a overriding overriding method and in super class it is displaying a in sub class it is displaying b so, so now in my main method you can see i am creating a reference for super class and i am assigning subclass object so my object is subclass type but the reference is super type and then by using this object i am trying to call my overriding method now i have to identify which method will get executed whether it is from super class or it is from subclass coming to the overriding your method signature will be same completely it's same there is no different in the signature everything will be same so now the compiler will identify the relevant overloaded method with the help of object so finally overriding is completely based on object it is not based on reference so this kind of assignment superclass reference subclass object 
uh, will call as dynamic method dispatch so in case of dynamic method dispatch i have a superclass reference and object is subclass type so in case of dmd what will happen your overriding is based on object and non overriding is based on reference i am repeating again so in case of dmd the overriding is based on object and the non overriding is based on reference so finally here my method is a overriding method and what is my object it is a subclass object so finally because of this method calling it is going to invoke a method from my subclass because my object is subclass 1 and overriding is based on object so finally it will display b so b will be the correct answer so hope friends we are clear about what is overriding and during run time how the compiler is identifying the overridden method the compiler will identify the overridden method based on object it is not based on reference so now we'll move the next question yeah next question is also related to dynamic method dispatch i have a superclass reference and subclass object already in our previous question we have discussed very clearly overriding is based on object non overriding is based on reference you can look at my class i have a variable a equal to 10 in superclass in subclass also i am using the same variable name but the value is different and with the help of dmd or dynamic method dispatch i am creating a reference and the object and i am trying to display the value of a i have to identify which a will get display whether it is from superclass or subclass so already we are very clear if it is overriding then it is based on object if it is non overriding then it is based on reference and we are already familiar only the method can override so only method overriding is possible variable cannot be override maybe the same name and the same type even though variable cannot be override bs overriding is only for functionality or the behavior so only the object functionality can override so which mean only method can override i cannot override constructor i cannot override method so only method can override so now since it's a variable it may be a same name even though it is not a overriding so already we are familiar non overriding is based on reference so the reference is super class type which mean it will display the value of a from super class it will print 10 so finally 10 is the answer so hope friends so we are clear about what is dynamic method dispatch and in case of dmd what is based on object what is based on reference so that also we are clear overriding is based on object non overriding is based on reference hope friends we are clear about uh, some more mcq questions so in our next video so we'll discuss uh, some more mcq questions thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends